is now the world's second richest man, Elon Musk, behind on rent. The New York Times reporting Twitter has stopped paying rent on its offices and is considering not paying severance packages to former employees. Now that follows news that Elon Musk dissolved its Trust and Safety Council, the advisory group of around 100 independent civil human rights and other organizations that the company formed in 2016 to address hate speech, child exploitation, suicide, self-harm, and other problems on the platform. Again, this is New York Times reporting as for the rent and severance, but follows just a string of erratic news from Twitter and it's not entirely clear where this platform is headed from here, Sean. It certainly is not clear. And we also know that uh, that ideas that Elon Musk puts forward initially aren't, ex aren't always implemented and go through a couple of iterations until actual change is made. But this is pretty astonishing, I think, to once you take a step back and realize that they haven't been paying, if this in, is in fact true, haven't been paying rent on their San Francisco office. Also, a $197,000 bill from private flights that were used during the first week of Musk's, Elon Musk's takeover, that has not been paid. Apparently, this is according to a court filing in New Hampshire. And then also just talking about if they don't pay the severance payments for these employees that have been laid off, the consequences of that, whether yeah. or not that's legal. And he's also apparently threatened to sue employees if they talk to the media today. I mean, it's very a Trumpian playbook, right? Sue me, and I'll sue you, right? It's, it's going to the courts, fight it out. I'm going to pay rent right now. I'm not going to pay your severance. But, you know, it's a very kind of costly gamut to do, especially when you're trying to reform a company that's Twitter right now in the crosshairs. Yeah, and, and look, it is Trumpian and how he dominates the news cycle. It was just a few days ago we learned we have to pay 11 bucks a month for Twitter Blue and that legacy check members are going to lose their blue check. It's hard to keep up sipping from a fire hose like we did with Trump. Multiple headlines every single day and feels like we've been talking about them every single day.